Watch out! Discovered Harry's malicious plot during his visit to England early this morning. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Why did Harry fly to London for this lawsuit in particular? It's a preliminary hearing and he hasn't participated in person in any of the multitudes of other preliminary hearings for his other lawsuits. Is it because it's dealing with the press? Is it because he's testing the waters in the UK before a coronation return? Is this a ploy by Meghan to get him out of the US and then test his immigration visa status as a self-confessed druggie? A source revealed that Harry's not going to come here just for the court case. He has no legal obligation to physically be there. The sudden influx of the Sussexes hope for the balcony as it's a special family moment and the Sussexes are definitely getting the balcony because the king is weak. PR push now makes sense. I think this hints at Harry being over here to attempt negotiation over the coronation invite. I also think that Harry deliberately going to the court case is a surefire way of being papped without having to call any paps as a shot to cause speculation over a meeting. This would mean that there's no actual decision over the coronation and the Sussexes aren't getting what they want. Let's just wait for the PR in the next few weeks about Harry having a sweet moment with the king and more claims that they'll get whatever they want right before it drops that they won't be getting anything at all. They've used that playbook before, and we all know what those two are one-trick ponies. This is their playbook. I look forward to their future press when no balcony event happens, and they say that they decided against it, as it's King's Day and the coronation would be too much for small children. Cue sugars, what great parents, unlike William and Kate. They have an answer for everything but the truth. I've seen people claim otherwise, but I remember clearly that the exact same thing happened over the Jubilee. The Queen loves the Sussexes and wants them included in everything, because they're family, and she'll do everything they want to keep them sweet. The Sussexes will definitely be on the balcony, courtesy of royal sources. The Sussex children will be on the balcony. The Sussexes are starting their return as working royals after that. It's Lilibet's birthday around the Jubilee celebrations, and there's totally going to be a focus on her. Look at how weak and pathetic the Queen is. The monarchy may as well be destroyed because the Sussexes always get what they want. And what happened? The Sussexes came, but they were relegated to the space with the Tyndalls. Meghan had to half hang out of a window to get a photo, and there was a little birthday party for Lily that only a couple of attendees, but no working royals, and the Sussexes rushed home in a petty little fit because they weren't included in anything else. Look at how disturbingly similar it all is. Even, shockingly, down to a Sussex child's birthday during a big important celebration. But now the pivot is to the idea that the late queen was always strong against them, whereas the king is weak and the Sussexes will be on the balcony, get important roles, be prominent, Archie will get a big spotlight, and the monarchy may as well be destroyed. What do you think of the weak king about to wear the crown? Don't blame the royal family. What were they supposed to do when one son goes rogue? They did what any other family would do. They got him help. They got him a job in the army and prayed it did all come right in the end. That it didn't isn't their fault. They've all just carried on going to work with all the shit flying and the CEO dying. Wait, if Charles does not definitively cut ties with Harry, a disaster could befall the British monarchy. Why? Because they did not merely need help. They actively covered up his misdeeds, bordering on criminal activities. The list is long. His waste of army resources, he played video games in the barracks, while babysat by Gurkhas, he abused animals. He had that appalling and shameful Las Vegas saga. He cheated on school exams. He hunted animals and on and on it goes. This was not normal behavior and yet it was covered up. Getting your wayward son a job is one thing, but him not even working in that job 
and having others call him his commander or whatever is a totally different ballgame. And on top of it, unless and until Harry and Meghan left the British royal family, the family even covered up the abuse of staff. The British royal family rightly deserves to be called out on this. They totally enabled him. There were never any consequences for him. And he's still behaving in the same way because they are still protecting him, if only to protect themselves. And if these stories ever come out about his mistreatment of women, I will no longer support the royal family. I think the parliament might have found a way to skip him, just like they did with Edward. Wallace was a convenient excuse, as history has shown us. The truth was Edward was unsuitable. Whether the queen would have allowed that or not is a different question, as he protected Harry for so long. Going back to Harry's weird British return, one commenter said, I saw a post on Twitter of people starting to gather outside of the court to see Prince Harry. I saw that Elton John was there too, so that was misleading. Also, weren't there rumors that Elton and David had dropped them? Maybe Meghan pushed Harry to make up with them and probably told him not to come home until they have full use of their private jet again. Any old port in a storm. It's been a long, dry paparazzi spell out in California. I'm sure this was strictly the duo's rather weak attempt at stirring the pot regarding the king's European trip, but the royal family has stolen a march on them, moving the itinerary down the line. And then there's the don't call us, we'll call you reply from the palace. I wonder who the source was, the royal palace or California pity palace. And why didn't he show up for a previous hearing in another legal action he's involved in? It might be because he wants to test the waters over there before he drags her over for the coronation. It's basically a month away. Perhaps he was hoping to create a fracas so that he'd be in the papers. Someone else just pointed out that the king should have been in France, but after the mess of the retirement age being raised, it had to be scrapped thanks to all the protests against the French government. I completely blanked on it. In that case, it could be a few things deliberately appearing to try and upstage the king and queen's first state visit, turning up to try and upstage them, then force a meeting when the king returned. Maybe a meeting was scheduled after the king's planned return. A last-minute appearance because the king's schedule is now open, so it's much more likely to get a meeting. Does Harry actually have to give plenty of notice to turn up in the UK for security? Or can he be spiteful and turn up to tantrum whenever he wants anyway? A meeting with coronation organizers and courtiers to try and get what he wants when the king is out to cause as much stress and pressure as possible during a sensitive time. Something to do with leaving Frogmore. What do you think about Harry's mysterious visit to England this time? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.